This is me doing a secondary injection. I'm about to test the instantaneous trip function on the Eaton Magnum DS type MD S608 type low voltage AC power circuit breaker. So I'm gonna manually charge the spring. I'm gonna put it in its closed position like that. I'm gonna go into the trip unit, which is the relay quintessentially. I'm going to get this out of range. I'm going to short time pickup. I'm putting the band out of range. Saving that. I notice there's nothing else on YouTube for anybody else to uh, look at our type breakers here. So, okay, short pickup. Okay, it's fine. Instantaneous. I'm going to put it six times six. It's going to save it at 4,800 amps. Now I'm going to go back down toward the trip unit, or oh, excuse me, the amp tactor. I'm going to lower it out of range. If you see the paper I'm putting at right here, it's going to tell you for instantaneous right here, it's going to be, we're going to test at 30 amps. The pickup should be between 27 and 33 amps. And if you notice, I'm on phase A. So we're going to find out between 27 amps and 33 amps what is going to activate the trip function on the instantaneous on a phase okay so I'm gonna start it right now and turn off the timer start it right now and go okay you can hear a loud bang when we found the trip all right that was it so I'm gonna press the calibration button see what time is at. amperage is at it's 30.3 so now I'm going to take, I'm going to write down, excuse me, take, and I'm going to write down that on phase A, it tripped at 30 amps, 30.3 30 amps. And uh, that is an example of how we test the instantaneous trip and how we do secondary injection tests. All right.